Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. If you are new on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on TikTok. Today, we're going to see a failed lavender hair dye tutorial uh, from porcelain. So every time I react on somebody's video, I ask you to go check this video, this channel out. Maybe she's a creator that you love in the future. And uh, we want to support everybody who is on YouTube and who is making um, videos to entertain you. So go to her channel Porcelain and maybe you will love her. She's already a big YouTuber. She has 100K. Uh, subscribers and I hope soon I will get there too. Uh, so failed lavender hair tutorial, I'm wondering what she did wrong. So we're going to see the first video. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video is going to be a new hair dye tutorial. It's been a while you guys. I've had this color up here for the longest time. And I need to dye my hair again. Y'all have called me out on these roots and these ends being so faded. So today we're going to bleach all this color out, get rid of it, and start new. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, I put a video out every single freaking day. Literally every day. So if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. So I went to Hot Topic this morning and bought two containers of Girls Night. They're way cheaper on Amazon and on Arctic Fox's site. But I didn't have time to wait because I was getting cold out. And it felt really vulnerable about this. So I got these. And I also have a whole bunch of like my stockpile Arctic Fox bottles that I've had through the ages. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do all this color. Or maybe like a tad of pink. Because I really like the vibrant pink color in it. My normal hair. So let's go get started and get rid of this color and go blonde. Alright, first things first. I put a little bit of this uh, Olaplex number 3 in my hair, you know, scrunched it around um, on my damp head and now I'm going to take a shower and wash this out. It's been about half an hour, just long enough for my ends really to like kind of soak in because I am going to bleach my hair and I do not want my ends to break. So that's what I did. Well, Olaplex is a really good thing. Uh, Olaplex is making sure that the bonds is reconnecting uh, on each other in your hair because bleaching is the most powerful thing in our uh, profession. But you can also put Olaplex in the bleach. So the bleach is less uh, harsh on your hair, but it's processed a little longer. So if you normally are going to process it 30 minutes, you have to put it a little longer because the Olaplex is slowing it down, uh, but your hair will be less damaging. Uh, and you can put Olaplex also afterwards uh, to treat your hair again. But you can also use Schwarzkopf uh, Blonde Me and that's also a, a, some kind of uh, Olaplex inside. From Schwarzkopf it's called Fiberplex. So Fiberplex is inside the Blonde Me so you don't have to mix uh, separately. Now she is a uh, pinkish color and she wants to go to lavender. She's going to bleach her hair but maybe a bleach wash is enough to get rid of this pink and to just put lavender. You don't always have to go to white to put another color on side because lavender, pink, it's not so... And she says, maybe I will add some pink in the lavender. So maybe that's a tip. If you want to go lavender with a slightly pinkish inside, don't get rid of the pink and put lavender over your pink. So you don't have to bleach it. Because if you go to white, then it's really difficult to cover it all up. If you want lavender with a slightly pink look, I don't know why she take it away, but let's see what she did. Okay, so I'm fresh out of the shower. Olaplex was all over my ends and now it's rinsed out. I feel like my hair is really damaged down here still. Hoping it holds together though, like I don't want a disaster. But I'm gonna be using the uh, Sally's Quick White Powder you can leave it on for 45 minutes to 50 minutes, but I have... Quick white, is that the new quick blue? White always has to be quick. If you want to go quick, 
it will be quick dead and she says already her hair is a lot of damaged so why bleaching it again if it's damaged if your hair is really damaged leave it alone don't change your color constantly if you want to change your color constantly then you will always break your hair it's it's really difficult to every time a different to have every time a different color every time i see that and the main reason that people are have dead hair or damaged or maybe their hair fall off is because they over process their hair if it's already damaged why bleach it again that's a, that's a question that always comes up in my head if i see somebody uh, doing this on youtube i don't know why but okay let's I have blonde roots so i'm probably leaving them for like 20 I really just gotta see when this color lifts because I really want a cohesive, solid hair color for once in my life, you know? Um, so I'm going to do this. Now you're wondering, why do I bleach my roots if they're already blonde? Because my hair isn't coarse enough to actually hold the color um, naturally, so I have to bleach it to make it hold. So I'm gonna use this and some developer. Ugh. I use the Wella Cream Developer. Super affordable. And I do way more developer than I should, just because I kind of want to water it down, this bleach. So I'm going to use one powder packet and probably like double or more of the developer. So I want to apologize ahead of time for the audio in this video. I have to use the door open when I bleach my hair because I don't want to suffocate. Um, but most of the time you can hear the stuff from the window because it's very hot today. But I'm not trying to run the air conditioning or my electric bill up. So, I'm going to just apply this bleach all over my head, starting with the roots. And then whatever's left over, I'll run through the ends, kind of get them lighter. But overall, I'm focusing on the roots. Oh, there are sectioning, so. All right, roots. That's a good thing. All right, roots are bleaching. I'm gonna take some of the extra bleach now because there's a ton of it and run it through my hair. Hopefully not that much on the ends though because they're already like pretty pastel on what we're going for. But the roots and top of my head are pretty dark. You see how easy the pink is coming off? Okay, it is all in my hair. It says leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 15. And I'm gonna wipe this off my neck and ears because it's burning me. And I feel like I'm doing this a lot, but you know, whatever. <laughs> hey guys, it's been about six minutes since I just told you I was gonna wait 15. I'm not waiting 15. Six minutes is good enough. This looks fine. Of course. My head hurts really bad. And I figure it took about 10 minutes for me to put this in. So, uh... It's really it's, quick. 17 minutes seems like okay. I'm gonna go wash this out. Alright, this is my hair. Um, there's still some pinky purples, and there's a couple spots down here where it looks like... Like, no bleach got on it. They're like straight purple. But overall, like... It's pretty blonde. So, I'm gonna put this coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack on my hair. Just give me lots of moisture. You can get it like Walmart or Dollar General. I'm gonna put this on my hair for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out, dry it, and I will do the color tomorrow. That was the thing I was saying. The pink was coming off so quickly that a, a bleach wash was enough and the roots are a little darker so keep that darker. I always like the darker roots. It's not so pretty if the roots are lighter than the length so you, you can use that to have um, a root shadow with the lavender that would be nice if you want lavender with a slightly pink in it bleach wash it just for one minute because it was really quickly faded off and then rinse it off and then apply the lavender but also she's going to apply a coconut treatment 
on the lengths because the lengths are damaged. But if you use a treatment before a toner, or in this case, a manic panic, the manic panic will not penetrate your hair enough. And even it's a direct pigment, it goes not straight into your hair, but the, the treatment is closing up the cuticle. It's closing up, so no color can go inside. There will be spots that are porous and will absorb manic panic lavender really quickly. And there will be spots that has a lot of coconut treatment and they will not be treated good. I don't know why she went to blonde to go to lavender. I, I still don't understand it. I still don't. Well, hello, Internet. This is my blonde hair. I'm wanted to show you in better lighting. I have like some pink up here. There's a couple pieces down in here somewhere that didn't really get the dye taken out of them. But like overall, my roots are done and I'm feeling pretty fresh. So for some reason, I'm sitting here thinking like, it's okay if I just don't like this color because it's light. It's not going to last long anyways. Then I'm like, it's still the same dye. It's still going to last as long. It's just not going to be... As vibrant. So I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna start off by using Girls Night. I'm probably gonna do all of this, but if I get to the mixture, I start putting it on my hair and I don't like it, I'm gonna add some virgin pink. But I will let you know if I add this. So let's get started. You know, most of the time when I dye my hair, I'm like excited to see the new color. This time I'm like, it's light. I'm not gonna like it. But if I don't try it, I'm not gonna know. You know? Like I've always wanted that bright red fire engine hair and then I was, tried it and I was like oh it's cute but uh not for me but at least I tried it you know so I might as well try like a lavender color especially for like the spring and the summer get out of my comfort zone a little bit because there was one point in time where I didn't think I could pull off dark hair colors at all now I'm over here like give me a dark deep purple give me a pink give me something fun I used to only be platinum blonde like white blonde not like this like white blonde like if there was color or yellow hue that's ball, why it's so out. damaged i had white hair forever and then i decided to try something new and i didn't like brown then i tried a brown dark color that had purple hue to it and i never looked back so that's where we're at so, so many all, colors hot topic doesn't sell eight ounce bottles they only sell the four ounce ones so this is what we got to work with. Okay, so I did end up adding some virgin pink to it, but oh, this why? Is not, it's like a like one. It was pink. Show, like five parts girls' night, maybe one point uh, part virgin pink. Not, not very much, but I think I can live with that color. So I'm gonna, just gonna start applying it. And I'm glad I got two bottles of this because I feel like there's not this much in here. Hey guys, so I coated my hair as best I could, but I'm like super not optimistic about this. Not like I'm not gonna like the color, whatever, I don't really care, but like it won't stick to some of the blonde. Like, I'll sit there and take an end of my hair where it's blonde and like rub the color into it, and it just won't. The coconut treatment. I don't know if like darker colors aren't as intense, like they don't stick, but it's just not sticking to it. Like my scalp still looks blonde, I'm rubbing color in there, used both bottles. It has a layer of coconut treatment, hair. honey. I just feel like it's not sticking to, to the hair. So I'm gonna leave this on for about 45 minutes, an hour, and we'll see. Alrighty guys, it has been an hour. Oh, it's so gonna be so patchy. I hope I like it. <laughs> There are oh. how miserable I am with this hideous, disgusting, blotchy, disappointing hair job that I just had to Amazon Prime some virgin pink over here. It's not the product, look honey. At look at this. I'm going to show it to you dry. Don't you worry. But oh my. God. She is thinking that... 
it's the product from Amazon that is to blame for the result. Two mistakes that she made. The first one, she didn't have to go to blonde because she wanted to have purple with a slightly pink, pinkish shine in it or something because she added pink to the purple. So, but it was pink. So maybe just a quick bleach wash and it was enough. But she damaged her hair again. Because your hair is damaged, one part will absorb more than another part because your hair is not always equally uh, damaged in the same part. There are parts that more damage than other parts, so more absorbent. So she treated her hair between the bleach and the Arctic Fox with coconut treatment. It's not coconut oil, but coconut treatment. But these treatments are closing up your cuticle. So it's not going to absorb equally. And you heard her saying, I, I keep rubbing the color in and it's still, it doesn't attach because it has a layer of treatment around it. It cannot attach to your hair. So don't do that. Don't put some coconut treatment before you put a toner on it. The two mistakes that she made resulted in this patchy end result. I'm really sorry for her because the color really suits her. I want to shave my head. All right, guys, this is the finished hair color. So, like, the color is cute um, in the front, but it is a disaster and I want to cry. Look at how patchy this is. There's, like, streaks in here that are completely blonde. Like, the color didn't take it all. The back of my head, I don't even know what that looks like. Bad. It probably looks so inconsistent and, like... It looks like I have blonde streaks. Yeah. It's so <laughs> bad. Look at this. Why did the color not take to some of it? Like, it's so disgustingly patchy that there's nothing in the world that reads more as, I did this myself, than this. What is this? Oh, look back there. That's just blonde right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm not leaving the house ever again. Uh, I did this last night and I had um, tried not to look at it since then. Like the color, the pastel color in the front looks cute. but like, It is. It looks very I good on you. Know. It's so streaky. And it's not like cute streaky, but I kind of like the smoky lavender color. So I'm kind of torn. I did Amazon Prime last night after I saw this. Um some virgin pink arctic fox so maybe since it's more pigmented it'll cover up i just don't know what happened here this is two I models do. so i wasted 2250 from a uh, hot topic on this which is such a bummer because i can get a huge bottle of good quality arctic fox stuff for 19 on amazon anyways this is a total fail but because my job is making youtube videos i'm still gonna post this video anyways tell me if you guys like the lavender purple just from like what you see right here that looks cute right i think it looks cute um do you like it more than my pink hair like my purpley pink hair personally yeah let me know and maybe one day we'll come back to it but i cannot stand this so hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one cannot wait for my hair color to get here tomorrow but I also ordered some Lime Crime like weeks ago and it should be here soon. So I'm not sure if I should wait for the Lime Crime, try that out, or if I should just dye my hair pink again. Let me know what you think. All right, bye. What I should do if I was you, and I really like this color for her. It suits her very, very well. Wait a few days, wash it out so the coconut treatment is completely out and do it again with the same lavender color. It will be more even if you do it again. Now you have like a bad pre-pigmentation, but if you do it again, the, the lavender will stay longer. Wait and do it again, but I don't think she will do that because she loves to change the hair and she will keep damaging your hair. Maybe you will have to see her channel. You will see her transformation in different colors line is coming we will meet her again in one of my reaction videos so 
If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, and all I'm going to say is, ciao kus!